Hi, hello Wiffle Nation. This is Stephen Farkas here with the first ever FOTMF. If you didn't see in the previous video, FOTMF stands for First of the Month Farkas. What am I going to teach you today? I'm going to teach you the most important thing when it comes to throwing a clean wiffle ball or a unscuffed wiffle ball or straight out of the box wiffle ball like in the NWLA tournament. I'm sorry to disappoint, but it's not how to throw one of my pitches. So what's the most important thing? The most important thing is putting correct spin on the wiffle ball. So what does correct spin do for you as a wiffle ball pitcher? A, having correct spin will make your pitch go faster, you'll throw harder, and B, it will make your pitch break more. How much faster and how much more break? I would say about five miles an hour faster and about six inches of break more. So, how do you get correct spin on a wiffle ball? I'm going to teach you on how I put correct spin on a wiffle ball. It may not work for everybody, but I know it works for me. Well, first off, you start off by getting a grip. What I do on all my pitches, whether I'm throwing a slur ball, a sweeper, or a riser, I always put one of my fingers on top of the hole. I do not put it inside the hole, but some other people do and it works fine for them. What do I do next? It's really just a two-step process. All I do next is when I release the ball, I am going to flick my fingers. While my finger is on that hole, I'm going to flick it to, to cause a correct rotation towards the strike zone. That's your FOTMF of the month and thank you for joining me for the first ever FOTMF.